Hello students welcome back once again in my english grammar class i am ms uma vidushi your english teacher and today we are going to discuss the next kind of perfect tense that is past perfect tense so today we are going to learn its definition structure uses with some sentence formation also and at last we will have some activities to do so don't skip the video watch the video till the end stay tuned with me let's start today's session so what is past perfect tense the past perfect tense is used to refer to actions that took place or were completed in the past it means that it indicates that an action was completed at some point of time in the past before any another action begin okay for example she had played or i had played he had played so here in these examples as you can clearly see that the action had to place in the past and it is it was completed okay it is not unfinished it is finished it is a completed action okay so it is or it was already completed in the past so that's past perfect tense it's very easy to understand now let's know what is the structure for forming the sentences in past perfect tense so it's a combination of two elements first an auxiliary verb had which will go with all the types of subjects and then the past participle form of the verb okay like for example we have already discuss, discussed about past past participle okay for regular verbs uh, the combination is base plus ed and for irregular verbs which i have already shown you in the table okay um, it will change according to that and for that you have to learn it okay how these those um, verbs change now let's see the structure of past participle so subject plus auxiliary verb had then main verb in past participle form and then the rest part of the sentence like i had finished my work so here i is the subject had is an auxiliary verb finished is the past participle form of the word finish and my work is the rest part of the sentence you had stopped before me okay as simple as that then for negative sentences we will simply add not negative sentences are made made with not like she had not gone to his school so gone is the past participle form of the verb go to his school we had not left for interrogative sentence there is an inversion of the auxiliary verb had and the subject okay like had you arrived had they eaten dinner and then question mark okay so this is the sentence structure for forming the sentences into past perfect tense and i hope students you need not to learn it okay that's very easy to understand very simple concept the combination of only two auxiliary verb and the main verb auxiliary verb had and the main verb will be in the past perfect sorry past participle form the next thing that we are going to know that how do we use the past perfect tense so the past perfect tense expresses actions in the past before another action in the past okay so this is the past in the past now what does it mean it means that it shows 
two actions occurred in the past but one action had been completed much before the other okay so past perfect is used for the earlier action and the simple tense or the simple past will be used for the latter action okay understand it with example the train left at 9 am we arrived at 9:15 am okay now here these two sentences left is in simple past arrived it is in the simple past because these two action was happen later when we arrived the train had left okay so when we arrived this action was happen later the train had arrived it means the train had already arrived it was already left the uh, station platform okay so the train had arrived it means that this action was happened before then we arrived okay so the action which that happened later we, we will use simple past or the action which happened for the earlier there we will use the past perfect tense form of the verb okay so this is how we use past perfect tense so it is very easy just two things you have to keep it in mind when two actions occur in the past you have to see which action occurred first and which action happened or occurred secondly the action which occurred first okay in that case we will use past perfect isn't it and the action which happened later the second action there we will use simple past tense okay so this is how we use past perfect tense now i think that's become very easy for you to understand yes we often use the past perfect tense in reported speech after verbs like said told asked thought or wondered okay like he told us that the train had left it's again a reported speech i thought i had met her before but i was wrong he explained that he had closed the window because of the rain i wondered if i had been there before okay so in these all sentences the words like told thought explained wondered these all words are used in reported speech and in this case we will use the past perfect tense to write the speech told by the speaker okay so this is how we use past perfect tense so students i guess you have understood the concept of past perfect tense that it denotes the action which was completed at some point of time in the past before another action begins or it also used to denote the action completed before the given point of time okay then we have talked about the structure that the structure of past perfect tense is had plus past participle it does not change with the person or the number of subject now it's time to do some activities to check ourselves that how much we have understood in this session go the first activity for you is to complete these sentences by filling the blanks with the past participle tense of the verb this activity will help you to recall the structure of the sentence used in past perfect tense okay the tourist realized that they dash take the wrong turn okay first you do and we will check later 
the security guard informed us that the last student dash leave at 4 pm i showed my parent my report card after we dash finish our dinner the doctor dash examine all the patients before she left by the time i reach aditya's house he dash leave for Dehradun. Okay, this is the question sentences. Now, I guess you have already done the exercises. Let's match the answer. How many of the sentences are correct? Yes, here is the answer. Had taken. Okay, taken is the past participle form of the verb. Take. Had left is the past participle form of the verb. Leave. Had finished, that's regular verb. Okay, so we simply added ed. It's a base plus ed. Had left. And as you can see that we have not changed the auxiliary with any type of subject. Because um, it means that it does not change with the number or the person or, number or the um, person of the subject. Now, the last one. He had left for Dehradun. Okay, so I hope you all, you all have done this exercises very well. Now, let's do the another activity. I have one more activity for you. This activity is based on your knowledge about the simple past tense and the past perfect tense. As we have just discussed that, discussed that when there are more than one action means two actions or more than that actions occur in a sentence okay the earlier action will be written in the past perfect tense whereas the latter action will be written in the simple past tense okay so let's do my father dash pay his phone bill before he dash receive a reminder from the company by the time second by the time bunny dash reach home everybody dash eat lunch third gaurav dash say he was not he wasn't hungry as he dash eat something on the way our teacher dash read the story to the class again though she Dash, read it to us before. I dash go to see Kung Fu Panda although I dash see it twice before. Now I guess you have already done. You are ready with the answer. You have already done. So let's match the answer of these all exercises. Yes. My father had paid his phone bill before he received a reminder from the company. By the time Bunny had reached home, everybody ate lunch. Gaurav said he wasn't hungry as he had eaten something on the way. Our teacher had read the story to the class again, though she read it before read it to us before. I had gone to see Kung Fu Panda, although I saw it twice before. So, so students, I guess your all the answers are correct. You haven't faced any problem in solving these exercises. Okay, so that's all in today's class. We have already discussed the two kinds of tenses, present perfect tense and past perfect tense. And I want you to please revise this video again for your better concept in these two kinds of tenses. So we will meet in the next video with the new topic, future perfect tense. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.